everybody all right? All right, it's 9.30, we will call the main meeting of the Wuhan Board of Supervisors to order. Uh, I would ask everybody to sign in. I assume they have a head of folks in the screen right now. Supervisor Bry and Hamilton have joined us virtually, uh, so they are both online. And at this time, I would call on Supervisor Zerfu. Please come forward for the invocation. I'd ask you to rise while Bill's on his way up here, mm -hmm. and then remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I do get a kick, Mr. Chairman, out of everybody rising when I come up here once a year to do this. Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> <laughs> well, <I have> you. <laughs> there will be a short bingo game after this. We <laughs> get into traditions. Alrighty. If you feel like it, please join in. Lord, God of all creation, may we always proclaim your love for all you created especially for all human life. Father, we offer you the souls of all our brothers and sisters who have paid the ultimate sacrifice while protecting our freedom by serving in the armed forces and those who served as police officers, firefighters, and medical emergency responders. May they forever experience your love and our gratitude. In your hands, Lord, are the hearts of the powerful. Bestow your wisdom upon government leaders. May they draw from the fountain of your counsel and please you in thought and deed. Make our work today benefit the residents of Wood County, that with them and for them, we may build an earthly city pleasing to you. Yes, Lord, Help us to be preachers of your love for all mankind. While doing so, let us remember what Francis of Assisi said, preach God's good news of love at all times, and when necessary, use words. Amen. You join the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> well, thank you and good morning, everybody. Uh, first thing on the agenda today is dealing with the minutes of the previous meeting. I entertain a motion to approve by lock on pace. A second by not everybody all at once. By <laughs> Supervisor Butt. Hamilton. I got Supervisor Butt, but thanks, Brad. All right, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All in favor of approval, please signify by aye. Aye. Thank you. Aye. And Brad and I. And like I said, we have joining us virtually today Supervisor Brian Hamilton and uh, County Clerk will have to probably remind me that when we get to resignations. Resignations today, we have a single resignation. Supervisor Mondetti was asked to step down from the Central Wisconsin State Fair Board of Directors. I'm going to take a motion to that effect. By Supervisor Clinton <laughs> and a second by Supervisor Wagner. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? All in favor of that resignation, signify by aye. 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 And opposed? Aye. aye. And opposed? Okay. And then we get to appointments. Uh, anybody object to be taking it together? Okay, I see no objections. So we have the Wood County Wildlife Advisory Committee, three year terms for Dale Weiss, uh, Marie Lutherhand, and Kurt Fluke. And the Central Wisconsin State Fair Board of Directors to fill the unexpired term of Supervisor Clendenin, who would appoint Supervisor Hamilton. I have a promotion to that effect. A balance day? Second. Oh, uh, who do we go with here? Lighten them. Get everybody's name in the program if we can. Any discussion? Again, all in favor signify by aye. 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 And opposed. Aye. And that motion carries. Thank you. Public comment. Is there any public comment today? Any public comment? See none of that. Acknowledgements and recognition, we have none of those today. I'm gonna to do a quick one. I just got back, appreciate the woman for me, from a NAPO conference out in Utah. And the comment I'm gonna make is, is acknowledging uh, the collegiality that this board worked with. I, I meet with county board chairs uh, from throughout the country. We are lucky, <laughs> I'll just tell you that. Uh, when I hear some of the, the problems that they deal with across the country, it's amazing. You know, uh, county boards suing sheriffs, vice versa, uh, corporate councils involved at every level between departments. And 
uh, we are lucky that we have the board that we have and the staff that we have. So I want to make sure I acknowledge that. Uh, I guess we'll move into the packet today. We don't have a real long packet. I don't assume this is going to take a real long time, but this meeting will be followed by the jail uh, meeting. So moving on, referrals. Um, a couple of them in your packet here. You can see those. The other thing I want to mention is Supervisor Condani may be back in front of us. I think the deadline is 4 30 on the 19th for resolutions to the WCA to be considered at the annual business meeting. All right, getting into the packet itself, page six, operations committee meeting of May 2nd. That's pages six and seven. Um, a number of committees had the update on the mass notification system uh, from Everbridge. There's some information on there. A number of pages, it runs just from pages eight to 14. It's informational. Monthly letter of comments from the county clerk. Monthly letter from human resources, pages 16 to 21. 16 to 21. From the treasurer's office on page 22. Wellness on 23. And then that brings us to the first resolution. This will be resolution 23-5-1. To amend the 2022 budget for aging and disability resource center function for additional expenditures that were not anticipated during the original budget process. Fiscal no, no cost to Wood County. The source of the funding is available cash reserves in the ADRC fund balance. The adjustment to the budget totals $31,962. Motion by Fisher, by second by Bride. Motion by Fisher, second by Bride. Any discussion? Any discussion? Please vote. Hamilton, yes. Bride, yes. Thank you, gentlemen. Resolution passed 19 0. Thank you. Moving forward in the packet, administer the Health and Human Services Committee of April 18th, 25 and 26. Their meeting of April 27th, uh, pages 27 and 28. Monthly letter of comments from the Health Department beginning on page 29, and that runs through page 33. Human Services, their monthly letter of comments beginning with Director Ruin on page 34, and those run through page 42, 34 and 42. Veteran Service Officers Report uh, 43 and 44. And then moving forward, beginning with the Wood County Public Safety Committee, their meeting of May 8th, begins on page 45, and it runs through page 48, 45 and 48. Traffic Safety Commission meeting on March 8th, on page 49 and 50. And then the month report from the Sheriff's Department, pages 51 through 76. 51 to 76. Any questions there? We're going to give Trent a chance to catch up. Brings us to the next resolution in our packet on page 77 from the Public Safety Committee. This will be resolution 23 5 2. To provide for unanticipated revenue from the Bureau of Traffic Safety, housed with the Wisconsin Department of Transportation's Division of State Patrol, to finance additional patrol for speed, seatbelt, and reckless driving enforcement through August 2023. Fiscal note, the cost to be funded in the 2023 budget is in traffic police overtime. The, judge, the adjustment to the budget totals $23,232.96. And a motion by Boyd and a second by Zerflu. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? I ask you to please vote. Hamilton, yes. Right, yes. Thank you. And that resolution again passed 19 0. All right, moving forward in the packet, minutes of the C committee. On 78, one through page 82, their meeting of May 3rd, 78 to 82. We have several bunches of minutes here from the Golden Sands Resource Conservation Development Council, beginning on 83, and those run through 92, 83 to 92. Um, I know we'll go through these pretty quick. Um, Supervisor Lightman, is there anything in these you wanted to comment on? Well, it was just there was one. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. There was just one um, error as far as what I had said on the uh, from Wood County, but um, it's technical and I, I don't think it merits making a correction here. Thank you. 
All right, moving forward, page 93, 4 and 5, that's the minutes of the North Central Kickback meeting. It's 93, 4 and 5. And then we go to the monthly letter of comments from the Rain and Water Conservation Department, beginning on 96, and those run through 101. 96 to 101. We have the monthly letter of comments from Planning and Zoning, beginning with Director Grunenberg's on 102 through 105, and then there's additional information there from Northwind that runs from 106 to 112. So basically 102 to 112, and the comments there. And then Mr. County Clerk, that brings us to page 113 in the resolution from the seat. This will be resolution 23-5-3, approve an amendment to the Town of Siegel official zoning ordinance. Fiscal note, none. By Clendenning, second by Lightnum. Any discussion? Any discussion? Again, please vote. Hamilton, yes. Ray, yes. Thank you. <coughs> and once again, that resolution passes unanimously. All right, moving on. Minutes of the Judicial and Legislative Committee, their meeting on May 5th on 114 and 115. Minutes of the Residential Options Committee, their meetings of 417, 515. I guess there's one in there for 51 as well. Uh, they begin on page 116 and they run through page 122. And, and this is one of the things that we're dealing with here. The state's dealing with this too. Uh, you know, hopefully we find something here. There's been some uh, concern that a county could be compelled to build a facility uh, should we not be able to find something. So uh, hopefully we'll work through this and uh, have cooperation from the legislature as we move forward again. 116 through 122. Notice of injury and claims on 123 and 124. Monthly update from child support on 125. Uh, the letter from the 9th Judicial District saying that courtroom is moving along and getting pretty close uh, to be occupied. That's on page 126. Again, the update from our clerk of courts on 127. From the criminal justice department on 128 and 129. And from our court counsel on page 130. We have a report from victim witness on 131. And then that brings us to minutes of the Highway Infrastructure Recreation Committee. Their meeting of May 4th, pages 132, 3, and 4. 132 through 134. We have an update from the Highway Commissioner, 135 through 139. 135 to 139. We have the update from the Parks Department, pages 140 through 144. 140 to 144. Uh, there was a presentation made on County Force at that meeting. It runs and it's included here in your packet, 145 to 161. 145 to 161, and that was done by the Wisconsin Common Force Association. Some pretty interesting reading in there. And moving forward in the packet, page 164 is minutes of the Property and Information Technology Committee. What did I miss? Uh, page 162. Oh, yeah, stuck together here, 162 and 163. This will be resolution 23-5-4 to become eligible to apply for Wisconsin DNR Outdoor Recreation Grant Funding for the Powers Bluff Trailhead Shelter Building Project. Fiscal note, total project costs of $2 million to include construction of Powers Bluff Trailhead Shelter Building and support amenities. Motion by Roser, second by Lafontaine. Anyway. Second by Lafontaine. Um, I apologize, that was stuck together with the staples here. Anytime I see $2 million, I stick them together. Uh, but anyway, we have a motion to second. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Supervisor Winch. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I don't think we have to be very anybody to finalize the deal. borrow any additional money here, um, Supervisor Rich. This, is, this would be cost share funding, a grant, and additional ARPA dollars. So no additional borrowing here. Did, did that answer the question? 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yes. All right, so this, what we're looking at is a resolution here to authorize us to look for this grant money. If it's approved, there are dollars available. The ARPA is one of the things we've talked about is finishing this project. Probably a problem for that. So that's what this relates to. So we do have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm going to rise and support this. Um, it seems a shame that we received um, a very nice, very generous uh, ARPA allocation. And yet, we this is the only thing we've got that tells the citizens of Wood County, here's a legacy project that we will leave for you. We will do something with this money that you will be able to employ for years to come. So I rise in support of it, and I will vote for it. Thank you. Any further discussion? I would ask you to please vote. Yeah, I'll be Thank you. <laughs> Supervisor Bryant. Al, are you with us or on mute, possibly? Yes, I can hear me. Yes, you can. Are you a yes vote on this or? Yes. Okay. Yes, I am. Supervisor Biden, you're coming. And that resolution passes 18-1. 18-1. All right, moving forward in the packet, they tried to do before, page 164, three minutes from the PIP committee from April 18th. Same committee, they're meeting from May 1st on 165, 6 and 7. Updates from information technology on 168, all the way through 171, 168 to 171. Monthly letter of comments from our facilities manager, uh, Ruben Van Tassel, on 172. Minutes of the ARPA Ad Hoc Funding Committee on 173. From the South Central Library uh, Board of Trustees, 174, 5, and 6. They're meeting of 427 on 177, 78. The Wood County Library Board minutes on 179 through 182, 179 through 182. And the minutes of the JL Construction Ad Hoc Committee, 183 and 184. There's an attendance list from the ARPA Ad Hoc Committee on 185. And then that brings us to the last page of the packet and the resolution brought forth by the ARPA Funding Ad Hoc Committee. This will be resolution 23-5-5. To amend the 2023 budgets of the functions listed below for projects that will be using American Rescue Plan Act funding. Fiscal note, the adjustment to the budget totals $3,209,500. Motion by Boyd. Motion by Second by Dry. Um, I just make a real quick comment here. Right now, the, the public health, $2 million for the Family Health Center. Right now, the matching funding on that has not come forward. So we're working on some other sources. If that doesn't come through, that money would be reallocated somewhere else, just so you know that. So the initial request was turned down at this point, but they are working on some other avenues at this time. So we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? All right, I'd ask you to please vote. Absolutely, yes. Right, yes. Thank you, gentlemen. <clears throat> and that resolution passes 18-1, 18-1. Uh, that gets us through the packet this morning. Uh, our next board meeting is scheduled for Monday, June 19th. Monday, June 19th. Is okay. there anything else? We'll do this yeah, fairly expeditiously. Yeah, hold on. Ruben's going to talk about this, right? <laughs> You're not making me talk about it, right? What's Ruben going to talk about? He, he's going to chat about this website I'm trying to bring up, so just hang tight. <laughs> okay. Hey, you're not on the agenda. You don't... <laughs> <laughs> you have three minutes. <laughs> Start the timer. Okay. Hold on. It looks like you only get three minutes, so... Well, they're working on the heavy speed to look out the window to do that. You brought up the Uber Long Tree Law and that project, and things are going somewhat as planned, so they're going to do that. Yes. Yes. Exactly to whatever you're doing. Yes. Uh, just so everybody has this information, Trent will probably email a link to all of you uh, maybe later this afternoon. Here you go. Throwing it on me. I'm going to put it back on you. Here we go. Um, 
Samuel's group is setting up a website. This is a draft. Um, it's not published yet, but we're looking at um, getting this available to the public, to our community, and to you as well, just to have a, a broad overview of the project, uh, where we started, where we've come, and some updated photos occasionally would be posted to this. So that's really all this is. Uh, we can look at this in a little more detail at the uh, ad hoc meeting and meeting. this meeting. But this is all it is. Information. That's all. If I correctly, we have a camera across the street that can take in the daily pictures uh, process. So at some point, we'll have a video record of how this came along day by day. And so far, it's going well. Anybody have any questions of Ruben or the project specifically? No? I, I guess I'm going to ask one more question just to move more along real quick. I'm going to ask it of um, our state representative, Rosa. Um, Dan, we're moving along on the budget process. We're not there yet. Is there any anticipation? Uh, from the York caucus or from the budget, maybe we I had heard yeah. Uh, is there anything like that? Are you talking about the budget or the budget shared itself. revenue bill? Both if you want. Is there, it's imperative it gets done and it's certainly central to what we do with the county. Right. So there are two pieces of this. You know, the assembly passed a shared revenue bill last Wednesday at about 8.15 at night. And um, we had been in negotiations with the Senate and the governor for about six months on the details of this bill. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen to that. We're hoping that the Senate will come up with their version and then vote on it in the near future, and then we can come to an agreement between the Assembly and the Senate on a bill to send to the governor. The, um, I don't know if you've looked at the allocations of that shared revenue package, but towns do very, very well in this shared revenue package. We were going to go with a 10% minimum increase, but in negotiations, we went up to a 15% uh, minimum. So no municipality will get less than a 15% uh, increase in shared revenue, which was significant. And, um, that's the bill that we passed in the assembly, and we'll see how it moves now. The problem with that is, is if we get a bill and it's vetoed by the governor, then we have issues with putting some of this in the budget. So then let's move to the budget. The budget uh, proceedings are coming along quite nicely. We have talked about every facet. We've not talked about transportation yet. That's our next big thing, the Department of Health Services um, are, are there are two big pieces of the, of the uh, budget. We as legislators put budget motions in for the things that we feel are important, and so they are considered by the Joint Finance Committee and then our budget buddies. Those of us that aren't on JFC have a budget buddy on JFC, and we meet with them on a regular basis to talk about our priorities. And so uh, we've been just real pleased with the investment that the JFC just made into the agricultural community and the increase in the uh, assistant district attorneys and the public defenders increase in pay. We're hoping to, as a legislature, we're hoping to present a budget to the governor like that third week, third or fourth week in June, and then it'll go to the governor Last biennial budget, the governor signed the budget on like July the 5th or something like that. The latest we've ever gone is September. <laughs> One time we didn't have a budget signed until <clears throat> September. We are not like the federal government where we close down. We just continue operating with the last budget until we come up with a new budget. But you're absolutely right. The discussion is if we don't have a budget, the school districts, the municipalities, all, they don't know what to do with their budgets because they don't know what they're going to get from the state. So we're hoping that we can come to a compromise and we can get a budget that is signed um, early July so that local municipalities um, can proceed with their budgets. And that's the plan. So does that answer your question? Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Tune in to the leadership meeting on Monday morning. But we're looking at probably early to mid July right now. Mm -hmm. So I just want to let everybody know that with those negotiations. Does anybody else have anything that needs to come before the board today? Anything else? Then I will declare the meeting adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>